Our feedback this week comes from Squirrely Dave. They have this to say. I wanted to throw another perspective on WSL here. I've used it in anger, as some people would say, i.e. for real in production. It may be fine sometimes. That has never been my experience using it. In an environment where I was creating automation that interacted a lot with Linux-type devices or other services, I used WSL as a number of years because things like Ansible on Windows are a joke or worthless. The only option is WSL because WSL exists. In an environment where the IT department maintains tight control of user workstations, a typical enterprise scenario, I found WSL to be a huge pain. In fact, most of my team spent a fair amount of time developing on Linux servers. That was a better user experience. WSL was difficult to set up and provided very little real advantage over a Linux server, except for the information security group. They were able to enforce their own policies on the workstations. This is effectively neuters the power of WSL, which isn't great to begin with. My advice to anyone thinking about WSL, if you have a choice, don't bother. Use a real virtual machine instead. So appreciate that feedback, Squirrely Dave, very much. I think that's very insightful. Somebody who's using it, uh, tried to use it uh, day in and day out for their job, did not have a great experience with it. However, we did get a lot of emails from people talking about in their environment for whatever pieces they're doing in development. It was very useful. So I think it's really interesting that we have so many people passionate about the WSL discussion that we had like weeks ago and the feedback keeps pouring in about WSL, which is great. I mean, this is your section community. If you want to talk about WSL every week, we'll talk about WSL every week. Uh, it really is something that either is accepted as a good tool or completely hated. And I would say no middle somewhere, for sure. Yeah. I'm somewhere on the middle ground, though. I feel like like I don't hate it. Uh, I don't care for it I, either. I am yeah. one of those people who proudly states that I hate it. Having never used it at all. <laughs> That's such a, <laughs> a great position to take, Michael. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> and I, I'm in I'm in the middle. I've used it. I don't care for it, but I know a lot of people who use it um, you know, at work and who need it for various reasons. So <laughs> yeah. it, it's so. if it works for your needs, then use it. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the big thing that to get take out of this. If WSL works for you, keep using it. If it doesn't work for you, then don't make yourself suffer uh, through it. You don't have to. You can use virtual machines or other things to uh, get a similar job done. So, Squirrely Dave, thank you for sending that in. And if you want to ask a question, if you want to give your take on WSL or something else entirely, you can send your comments or questions. Feel free to be anything else. We've anything. got a lot of WSL comments <laughs> recently. <laughs> Not that we don't appreciate them, Michael. We do appreciate we, them. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, DestinationLinux.net slash comments or DestinationLinux.net slash forum out there. I don't know. I feel like there's so much WSL passion here. I might have to go try to check out WSL just to, unlike Michael, I want to test the theory of whether I should stay on the fence, hate it, or love it. So I'm gonna have Wait, to give. Wait, okay. WSL first of all, do you do you are you on the fence because you've never tried it before? No, I've played with WSL quite a bit, oh, okay. but it's been a while. It's been like a long while. Like I played with it back when we were WSL was first kind of getting popular. Oh, like we the version talking. one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I've uh, installed it recently to see if it gotten any better. And I was mm -hmm. just like, I got bored with, honestly, within like five minutes. I was like, eh, I don't really care that much. And then I went and installed Linux instead. Well, but, I have no access to a Windows machine, so that's why I've never tried it. Listen, but I'm you also, Linux purist. But I'm also <laughs> perfectly fine with saying that I hate it regardless because of what it stands for. Like it's taking something that is uh, taking a different ROS to trying to give it tools into Windows that Windows can't do. And then the opposite is not done as well. So I feel like, ah, I, I, it's just a principle thing, really. So if Microsoft gave us Office, would you change your mind? Sure. I would say I don't care at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate you anymore. I just don't <laughs> care. I, I yeah. don't like your stuff, but I like the fact that you support my platform. That's what I would say. Um, yeah. That's about it, I think. Well, interestingly, I was reading something. I wish I had the numbers in front of me, but I was reading an article, like just scrolling through news articles. And one of them was talking about the amount of users on Google Docs now. And it was like millions. It was a very impressive number. I don't remember how much it was, but it was shockingly large and a lot of businesses moving. So maybe Office won't even be such a big thing anymore because you've got some additional, not that Google's 
that much better of an alternative. But at least it's slightly better. Use it in Linux. Yeah. Because uh, at least you can do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. 